Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. Today we're on Nest Purse Valley in Way of the Hunter. We're doing a realism slash realistic hunt, however you want to call it. We have some elk running away, but that's not the focus of this hunt. We got a bighorn and a mountain goat tag is how we're going to treat this. We have one of each. It's in either sex. So we're going to be able to go for either one because it's kind of hard to tell, especially in the game whether or not it's a male or a female. But we'll go for either sex and hopefully we'll make something happen. Now we've got everything turned off except for the compass, wind direction, and our stance just to help us out a little bit since those are things we can't actually check in the game. So if you like this kind of content, you like the Hunter Call of the Wild Way, the Hunter Hunter Simulation Shooter Games, be sure to sub and ring the bell, give me a like, share the video with a friend. It's all helpful with the channel growing and it's greatly appreciated by me and everyone else as part of the squad. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, let's talk game plan real quick. So we're here kind of northwest, mainly west side of the map in Sheep Eater Ridge. And I'm on the main road here. I'm just kind of walking around. We spooked that herd of elk, which is all good. We're not really focused on them. But I'm gonna follow this all the way up to here and get to this kind of glacial lake. I've never been there. I think this is a maybe a campsite, maybe a tree stand, maybe a, a stand of some sort. Uh, but not really concerned about finding out what that is. I just want to get up there and see what my mountain goat bighorn population is like up there. And we'll just kind of see what's along the way. We've got a little bit of time before they actually head in to drink. So this should be a good plan, I think. We've got the 30-06 in for those guys. It's just, it's a phenomenal gun. Shoots really good. It's just like the 270, in my opinion, as far as capability, especially on deer. Uh, but it should do good on the bighorn. It might actually be too big for the bighorn and the mountain goat, but that's okay. We're not going for the highest hunting score. We're going for the biggest trophy score. And then if we see anything big, like a Rocky Mountain elk, Although we don't have a tag for it, but I don't want to let him go. We do have the Remington 700 long range and 300 wind mag. Okay, I just got a call. and I want to say it was a mountain goat. I'm not 100% sure though. Uh, I want to say it was a mountain goat call. It's right in front of me up there. So to find this is going to be interesting. I came up into the hills so I could get a look at that side, which didn't really work because of all these massive pines. But I saw some. I spooked off some. Oh, is that them there? I think that's a rock. That's a rock. Okay. I spooked off what I'm pretty sure were the elk again and some wolves, I'm pretty sure. They howled at me and... Then I heard him running away a little bit later from the same area. Pretty sure those were two things I spooked off. Hopefully it wasn't anything else. No luck on that sound yet, but I just heard it again. A twig snap and then the call right up around in there. And I don't see anything yet. We're just going to keep making our way to the water. And this place that was on the map is a campsite, kind of like I expected, but our wind is really bad and it's kind of shifting all over the place. It keeps kind of going west then north, staying northwest. So I'm not quite sure how we're gonna play this because in order to get to that water, it will swing up here, come onto the glacier and come down. Oh, there we go, first sighting. They are out their way. I really think they're making their way to the water. I really do. Um, hoping they are at least. Looks like a, a decent pack. Flock? No, flock is bird. Herd? It's gotta be a herd. Herd of mountain goats? Pack of mountain goats? I don't know. All the same to me. I'm gonna drop a waypoint. Now, I do use the waypoints. I talked about this in the last video because we don't have a GPS handheld system kind of like we do in Call of the Wild or um, 
uh, what's the other one that they make? The Hunter, classic. Yeah, that one. So we do use the waypoints, drop them, so that I can kind of see areas that I'm trying to get to. And that's what that one's for. What we're doing, is I'll show you on the map, and they're over here, right? And they're coming into water. So we're gonna swing around, kind of get into this glacier, and that should give us a line of sight. It opens us up to be seen quite a bit, but I think we'll be about 180 yards out, maybe closer to 150 by the time we get down. But that should help us be able to see them as they come in for the water. And we can pick the bigger of the of the ones that are there, take them out. Oh boy, I just saw him. You guys saw that? I just gave you a little peek. Just a little peeky peek. Oh, we got Bighorn over here too. Oh, we got Bighorn. Case. Okay, talking like crazy. There's nothing great in that herd. I just heard a twig snap. Please don't spook. They should be able to smell me, those Bighorn. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, our mountain goat are still there. That's what we're here for. I'm gonna focus on them. Let's see if there's any big ones. We might have to get the rifle scope out so we can get a good look at them. But that guy right there is looking, looking not half bad. Closest one to us. One walking up isn't bad either. But I'm thinking that's the guy right there. Oh no, that's the guy right there. That's the guy right there. Yep, I definitely think he's the biggest. About 120, coming into 100 yards. That's definitely the guy we want to take. Right at about 100, we're gonna have to watch because of course, they're making it a little bit hard how they're coming in. Oh boy, that, could, that guy's really big. I like the look of him. Okay, here he comes. 99. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it out. Just to be ready, he turned. That's him. He was at 99. Keep it at the 109. Beat stop. Well, that's going to present a perfect shot for me. Easy money. Easy money. That's what we wanted to do. Drop him right where he stood. That way, we don't have to do any tracking. He's by far the biggest in that group, I believe. Now, I don't have a five star. Mountain goat. As you guys know, that's been something I've been struggling for. So I don't know if this guy's won. Uh, I showed you at the beginning. I haven't been to this area. This is a first for me. I have no idea what this guy's going to score. We might have just messed up what could have been a diamond. But I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know enough about mountain goats in the game to know if he's even going to be close. I don't. I really don't know. Let's find out. Okay, so we got him. Got him with that left lung kill shot. Just a good shot there. Let's back it out and take spin him around. Yeah, we're not gonna get a good sh good look there. Oh boy. I don't know, he looks pretty big. Oh, he was a four star mature with an 82% genetic potential. Not upset about that at all. That was a great one to take. He's my second four star mature that I've harvested. Uh, but I, it, with that genetic potential, he wouldn't have gone much further than that. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm very much okay with that. Look at that guy. Just a, there's a good looking mountain goat right there. All right. That is a good one to take and to fill the tag with. So mountain goat tag down. Now we just have Bighorn to worry about. I wasn't impressed with that herd there. So I think we're gonna leave those alone and make our way to another spot. All right, we're at a new spot. 
And we're going to be looking at some big horn. This is a spot I haven't been at. And look at that guy. Oh my gosh. He is a giant as well. Don't think he's a five star. He's probably a four star if I had to guess. There's a couple big ones in this herd. This herd I've seen once when I came to this campground. And I didn't want to really hunt it all that much. So I just kind of... Ooh, that was a bad shot. He might go down. Yeah, the left side, his left side just isn't as big as his right. He's not going to be a five star from what I can tell. I'm surprised he's still going. I think he just expired right up there. Yeah, he's dead right there. Yeah, so I'll show you where I'm at. We came down here. And we're on, again, still the west side in He Devil. So we dropped down from Sheep Eater Mountain Ridge and came down into He Devil Mountains. This is a this is a lake I've never been to except that one time to find this. And when I came down here, I saw the mountain goat and the bighorn population. And since I had already gotten quite a few bighorn at the time, I kind of just let it go and not even paid attention to what's here. But figure why not, let's walk down on here and see if we can't find ourselves a big horn that's big. And well, we found a big horn that's big. Now just to see what he scores and what his rating is. Like I said, I think he's probably about four star, but I could be wrong. Easy blood trail to follow. I mean, not that we needed it because we had this waypoint up here right where he died at let's see i am not sure i don't think so because i'm pretty sure his other side was not a full curl this is a full curl so let's back this out real quick take a look oh maybe he was a full curl he's definitely bigger though on his right than his left four star four star mature another one 75.25 percent genetic potential Honestly, great one to take. I had no idea. No idea at all. I I just assumed because his other antler was so much smaller. If in here, they don't look that much smaller. Do they? Eh, kind of. Kind of a little bit smaller. But not quite that much smaller. So, ooh, what's going on there with his antlers? Or his horns? These guys don't have antlers, Colton. Yeah, he's definitely bigger on his left. Definitely bigger. He's got a little bit more mass to it as well. So that would be why he has the lower genetic potential. Let's get a picture of his good side. And there we go. That guy's down. We're going to wrap the video up right there. Like I said, we had a... Either sex bighorn tag and an either sex mountain goat tag. So we came out, treated this like it's real life. Those were the only two we could go for. And we got some pretty good trophies, if I'm honest. I can't complain. Both those are pretty good. I had no idea we were going to be getting that lucky. I expected to probably kill a one star or a two star today. Or something that was probably going to make five star and mess it up. And I was going to go cry in a corner. Thankfully, I don't got to go cry in a corner. I can keep my man card. And say that I'm a good hunter and that I'm pretty capable of identifying good animals to take. Now, this is probably a little bit shorter video than normal, which is all right. I think some of us enjoy shorter form videos sometimes. So if you like this kind of content, you like the Hunter Call of the Wild Way, the Hunter Hunter Simulation Shooter Games, just like I said at the start of the video. If you haven't done it yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and make sure you turn on all so that you don't miss out on any new content by yours truly and then of course give me a like and share the video with a friend because it just keeps helping the channel grow and we're growing at such a rapid pace right now it's unbelievable and i'm continually grateful to all of you that said i want to make you aware of the fact that i do have a patreon account now and i've been hesitant to do this for a while i don't um don't want to make it seem like i'm just looking to make a payday or anything but i wanted to make a way that you guys could get access to me uh, privately outside of the YouTube comment section you could get maybe some value in other things as in merch um, or a shout out of your own channel 
on my channel. And that's exactly what I've set up Patreon to do. You can get merch based on certain tiers. You can get all of them get a mention at the end of the video and in the description of the video so that you guys can get your own channel or your Instagram or whatever you want shouted out at the end of the video and in the description. And then the second tier and everything above that is going to get you access to the private Full Sin Whiskey Discord server that you'll have access to me i'll be active in there you guys will get behind the scenes content in there all kinds of cool stuff uh, maybe we'll do some giveaways and stuff in there or do some hunts together in there as well so i just want to be able to provide some better uh, stuff to you guys provide value to you guys and keep this squad growing and hopefully you guys will consider becoming a patron of my patreon now all that out the way go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend and I'll catch you in the next one.